Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. I feel like it's been a bit, a little minute since we filmed in my room and filmed cozy videos and success habits and I don't know, I love these. They feel like coffee chat videos. Like I just picture you guys drinking a cup of coffee. I just was before I filmed this. Gathering in, just hearing some of the mindsets that has helped me with success. Sometimes it kind of feels weird saying that, like I'm saying I'm so successful or something like that. But I also feel proud of myself in the same way too. And I think that that's really good. It's good to honor where you're at and to appreciate where you're at and see the hard work. I set goals for myself and achieve them. And I'd be lying if I said the mindset wasn't the most important thing. Any goal that you have, whether it's a business goal or a school goal or a weight loss goal or even finding a relationship, any goal that you have is going to 100% depend on your mindset, the kind of thoughts you're thinking and keeping yourself motivated and keeping yourself pumped up. That's all with your mind. So I feel like this is probably one of the most neglected areas maybe in the YouTube space, but just in general that we don't really talk about having a healthy mindset as much as we do productivity hacks and motivational hacks where I'm sharing recipes and I'm sharing workouts and all that, and I do it too. Really your mindset is where it's at. And I used to talk about this in some of my earlier motivational videos that my mindset is what kept me going to lose weight. My mindset is what kept me going to pursue my YouTube channel and then to go on and do other things. I'm excited for this video. I wrote down all of the things that I think are helpful for a healthy mindset in notes in my phone. So let's just get straight to it. I'm excited for this video. I'm excited for you guys to take something from this video and go and practice it in your life. So that brings me to today's video, healthy mindset habits that have transformed my life. The first one I have written for you guys is believe good things are on the way. Let's dissect that. Believe good things are on the way. So whether you're starting your business or you're starting your weight loss transformation or whatever the case may be, know that it's going to keep getting better. I think when you're starting from the beginning, a lot of times you just worry. Worry it's not gonna work or worry something bad is gonna happen or worry you're going to put in all this effort and then be rejected in some way. That mindset actually comes easier to our brain. Our brain is always trying to protect us. So when you do have a negative thought about something good you're trying to do so say you're trying to lose weight or you're trying to start your business and some little voice in your head says mm, don't do it or oh something bad's gonna happen or oh this isn't gonna work that's actually your brain's coping mechanism I'm protecting you so you don't get hurt so I think that knowing that and taking that from today's video you can say thanks but no thanks instead what I want you guys to do is replace that thought so replace the whatever story you're telling yourself the negative thought replace that with something positive like good things are on the way I feel like it's a really simple one but sometimes I'll wake up in the morning and say something really good is gonna happen today and guess what something really good always does happen and that's because I'm focusing on something good happening everything that you have in your life that you've attracted into your life or a goal that you achieved think about it at one point that was a thought so say you did start a business and it was successful, or say you did lose weight and you were successful at it, or you met your significant other, all of those things were once a thought and now you have them. So I think you can believe and agree with me that thoughts are so important and having a healthy mindset really is the foundation to getting everything you want in life. Believe that today something exciting is going to happen and I swear you will see something exciting happening. So the next one I actually learned from Gabrielle Bernstein who wrote one of my favorite books, The Universe Has Your Back. I don't remember if I heard her say this in an interview or her newest book that I'm listening to, Super Attractive it might be in that book or it was in an interview but I heard her say and it just stuck with me that what other people think of you is none of your business and my little add-on to that is don't waste your brain space like you know especially when you're a mom I feel like you get like this mom brain don't waste your brain space with what other people are thinking about you we all know at this point that we can only control what we're thinking. We can't control what somebody else is thinking. We can't control other people. We could just control ourselves. 
So with that being said, you can't control what other people think of you or what they're saying behind your back or laughing about you starting your own business or you're getting healthy and they're not. Honestly, guys, like it's pretty self-explanatory, this tip, but just hold that with you that what other people think about you is none of your business. I also like to think of it, what somebody is saying about you is a giant mirror of their insecurities. I am now 30 years old and at 30 years old, I stopped worrying about what other people are thinking, what other people are saying. No time for that. You can't change it anyway. So I think that this has become a healthy mindset for me. Something I want to pass to my daughter is that what other people think of you is none of your business. You can't change it. You can't control it. You have to keep doing you, keep living your life. My third tip is accountability. So I wrote down change starts with you. If you don't like where you are, what did I write? If you don't like where you are slash what you're doing, you have to do something about it. So yeah, totally true. I hired somebody to help me with emails and if they don't get back to somebody and that person is mad or that brand is mad that they didn't hear back, instead of blaming the person that didn't get back to them, I take accountability that I'm the boss, that I hired them, that at the end of the day, it's up to me to be overseeing things. If I'm trying to lose weight and I skip my workouts and I eat unhealthy, I don't then say, oh man, man, losing weight doesn't work for me. It's no, I'm taking accountability that I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do. I made up a plan for myself and I didn't stick with it. I have so many friends that have started businesses or doing what they want to be doing in life, achieving their goals. And I feel like that's one thing that so many successful people have in common is accountability. I think it's a good healthy mindset to have is that you can control your thoughts you can control your situation, your environment. So if you want to see change, if there's something in your life that you don't like or that you want to change, it's up to you. You have the power to change it. Um, it's just the matter of taking responsibility. Am I doing everything I can to further my weight loss journey? Am I doing everything I can to achieve my goals? Did I prepare and study before my test? So yeah, just owning up to mistakes, taking that accountability and just knowing that you are in control of your life. If you do want to see change, if you want different results, you have to put in the work. My next tip is to focus on consistency, not instant results. So I learned this from the book Atomic Habits. This book has changed my life. I can't recommend this enough. I feel like for Christmas next year, I want to give this to everybody in my life, this book. Although I feel like a lot of them have already bought it because I've talked about it nonstop. But one of the things that I love about Atomic Habits is he says that he actually has some charts and diagrams in the book, but he starts showing like a chart up going upwards, um, but not like this, like kind of like trending up. And that's basically you sticking with your habits consistently and your routines become habits. So he says you really want to focus on the consistency rather than the instant result because the instant result takes time, right? So I love his, um, his example about the gym. He says it's better to go every single day or the days that you plan to go. Maybe you say Monday through Friday, I want to go to the gym. It's better to go consistently Monday through Friday, even if some days you only get there and stay five minutes. But either way, it got you to go to the gym. It got you to make the first step because the first step I think is the hardest. So he really got me to see that consistency is where it's at. It's not about these instant results and like, oh, I ate healthy for a week and now I'm not seeing results. No, it's not about that. It's about doing little things over time that add up. At the end of the year, you want to be proud of yourself and say, these are all the habits that I've adopted into my life. I make my bed every morning or I meditate every day or I cook dinner at home and I make good quality food. You want to say you did that, right? You don't want to say, well, I tried this and then I stopped and then I tried that and then I stopped. Our bodies love consistency and routines and habits. It's such a healthy mindset to think of it like that way too, to really think of it like you're building a foundation, you're building habits literally from the ground up. Like I think of like my habits are like this, like I'm stacking them, which he talks about in the book too, habit stacking, I'm building this habit to create major success. And it's not something like you do something one week and then you just have all the success. Like it's not going to happen that way. Consistency, 
over instant gratification. But I talked about this one on Instagram and so many of you really liked it and wanted me to elaborate on it, but someone asked me a question. I did one of those like Q and A bubbles on Instagram and somebody asked me, what do I do on days that I feel in a rut or I feel uninspired? And I shared that I do nothing. I allow myself to feel uninspired. I allow myself to feel in a rut. Such a healthy mindset tip is to allow yourself to feel those things. I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about how phones don't let us feel bored anymore that like years ago like especially me being a 90s kid like in the 90s like you didn't go check your instagram when you were bored you just kind of like sat there <laughs> or like thought of the next thing you're gonna do or you went outside and played with sticks and stuff that's what you did when you were bored and then inspiration would slowly come back in like oh let's play this game or oh let me do my homework or whatever the case may be but that's what you did when you were bored and i think that now we don't even know what that feels like anymore to be bored because we have our phones and we scroll and check instagram or we go text a friend or we email or whatever it is that you do watch tiktok watch youtube we just don't allow ourselves to have that bored feeling i feel like when i've allowed myself to be bored like sat in silence or just sat outside with my coffee no phone not listening to a book nothing that's when true inspiration started creeping back into my brain. I started feeling creative again and I just wanted to like write things down. What do I want to write down? I don't know, but I have this urge to go grab my notebook and write something down. And then from there, it would turn into a video idea. And then from that thought of turning it into a video idea, it eventually became a video and it's living on my channel. And that happens all the time. Or it's a meal idea and I'm like, you know, I'm not really feeling inspired with eating healthy. And then maybe a couple of days go by of, allowing myself to feel bored and then all of a sudden i feel inspired again and i want to buy different groceries and i'm excited to make different recipes like allow yourself to feel that way and the last one i wrote down is stay in your lane with friends neighbors social media people etc comparing and judgment is the opposite of manifesting if you want something it's normal for your brain to find somebody else that has it and then want to compare so if you want to lose weight and you start following people that are on their weight loss journey and you start comparing okay what does their body look like what does my body look like or somebody that has started a business that you want to start it's easy to compare what what did they do to get to where they're at i have to be doing that i think to some degree that could be normal like oh this person started an etsy site how do why I started an Etsy site. Okay, I'm gonna take the same steps they did. So I think in some ways it could be helpful, but I think almost always it then turns into a negative thing when we're comparing because then it turns into judging and this and that. This is something that our brains like to do and it's really healthy to turn it around, to stop doing that because knowing that when you're comparing yourself to somebody else and judging yourself that you don't have it, that you're just getting further away from it. That's another thing Gabrielle Bernstein talks about is that when she wanted to get engaged, she compared herself to her friends that were getting engaged and, you know, not feeling so happy for them because she wanted to get engaged. You're taking those feelings and telling the universe, hey, I don't want to get engaged right now because you're literally putting out those negative vibes. If you're rude to somebody who has something that you want, you are literally putting it out there that you don't want that, that you're putting out those negative feelers, that negative energy. Say your friends are doing really great at life and they're achieving their goals and you feel like the last one who hasn't or you feel like oh they're all doing this or they're all getting married or they're all having babies or they're all starting businesses and you know I haven't done anything or whatever the case may be if you're feeling that way I have something that I think will make you feel better and it's this have you ever heard the saying that you are who you hang out with? So if your friends are go-getters, you're most likely going to be a go-getter. If your friends are going after everything they want in life and are pushing themselves, you most likely are doing the same thing too. So if your friends are all achieving these major goals, guess what? You're in the right vibration because you're about to achieve your goals since we are who we hang out with. I think that we should always be in a rhythm every single day where we're doing something that makes us feel good, whether it's a thought, whether it's exercising or playing with your kids, walking your dog, appreciating nature, whatever it might be, every single day you should feel good about something, you should feel grateful about something. And comparing yourself and judging others does not feel good. And like I said, if you're judging somebody for something that they have that you want, 
you're just moving further away from that and I'm sure you don't want to do that. Those were all of my tips for a healthy mindset and just practicing those have changed my life. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you want more videos like this and also comment down below what are some of your mindset hacks or tips that you want to share. I'd love to read through them. Comment that down below. I love you all and have a fabulous day.